Hello everyone and you're welcome back. In our last lesson we saw how we could create functions and we could store some of these variables we created within a function and we saw how to call a function within our script by passing it into our start or our update method. So let's go ahead and see how we can create operators so that we can make additions, subtractions or basically math operations using Unity. So the first thing I'll do is to go to our assets and let's create a C sharp script and I'll just call that operators. So now I've created that. I'll just double click that so that we can run it within uh, and have that open in Visual Studio. So I'll just reload everything just to make sure we are on the same page. The first thing I'll do is to create a multi-line comment so we can actually have some of that information stored right here. So I'll just do a slash. And just like that, within our comments, I'll go ahead and add in some extra information. So C Sharp uses the addition symbol, the multiplication symbol, that's using the asterisk, the division symbol using slash, and the multiplication symbol and you subtract symbol uh, rather. We can also have the uh, less than or equal to and also the greater than and equal to sign and it uses double equal signs for meaning uh, a comparison, not equality. Uh, let me just use commas to separate these values and I'll just pass in a name for each of them. So it uses uh, addition. Isn't that simple? Then for multiplication, just like that, using the uh, asterisk symbol. And for our division, it uses the slash symbol. Then we have the less than or equals. And just set it to that. And we have the uh, greater than or equals. Then we have the uh, comparison using double equal sign. And then we have the assignment. operator which is the single equal sign so one thing that confuses people is like when you see this uh, double equal signs and the single one if I say the number 2 equals to 3 that's going to return a boolean value of either true or false but if I'm trying to say 2 is equal to 2 it's trying to compare the left hand side to see whether the left hand side the uh, expression on the left is equal to the expression on the right. All right so this is going to uh, check if the expression on the left and this one is just assigning Right, so if I say uh, age equals 3, I'm just assigning the integer. Uh, if I say int age equals 3, I'm simply assigning the integer called variable called age to the integer number 3. But here if I say 2 equals 2, it's checking to see if the expression on the left is equal to the expression on the right. So now we've seen the assignment operators, the example of the assignment operators. Let's just go ahead and see an example. So right here within my class, I'm going to create two public floats. So I'm just going to say public float. And I'll just call this one first underscore num for first number. And I'm going to just say uh, 23 point 09f. Let's show that is a float, and I'll create another public float. 
and I'll say a second underscore num to represent second number and I'll set that to let's say 44.56 F so now that I have these floats let's go ahead and create a method to do a little bit of a uh, simple math so I'll just say void operator function and just like that with my operator function I'll just go ahead and create a function called a variable called add that is going to store the first number plus the second number so I'm just going to say uh, float add is going to be equal to uh, first num plus our second num just like that this is just simply storing that result and I'll just do a float multiply and I'll multiply our first num and I'll use the asterisk symbol by our uh, second num just like that so I'll just do these two just to keep it uh, really uh, smooth and simple and to see our output I'll just do a debug.log so I'm just say debug dot log and I'll just say uh, addition results just like that and I'll just concatenate the uh, add so concatenation simply means it's just going to join the string right here with the results and I'll just do a code and a simple symbol and again let's do a debug dot log and just let's uh, call this uh, multiplication results and I'll concatenate the multiply multiply variable created and I'll close my uh, statement using a uh, semicolon so I made these public so we should see them on the unity inspector so let's go ahead and save this and jump back to unity and what we're going to do is to make sure that we attach this uh, script to a game object we want to change we can attach this to anything I'll just drag this and attach it to the main camera and if we click on the main camera we can actually see our script right here called operators and you can actually see these two exposed we have the first num and second num in fact we can go ahead and change this to 50 and let's also change this to 50 and let's go ahead and run it and we should see the output on our console so right now if I go ahead and click on the console uh, let me go ahead and clear this and let's just run that again So we're having an issue right here saying the reference script on this behavior is missing. So I'll just go ahead and quickly uh, check out what that issue is. So I just went ahead and reset my uh, Unity because sometimes it could give you uh, errors like that. So I just went back to my main camera and in my project window made sure that my script was properly uh, referenced because it wasn't seeing the uh, script. So now that I've set that, let's get back to our script. And we actually created a function called the operator function, but we are not calling that function yet. So let's just go ahead and look at operator function and go to our start method and let's go ahead and add a comment and say calling our operator function that adds and multiplies to float numbers so we'll just call that operator function and we'll also end that with a statement and let's go ahead and save that and since we put this in the start method this is only going to just run once whenever we create our uh, project so let's go ahead and save that and head back to unity and now that we're in unity let's go ahead and run this so let's go to our console and clear our console and let's go ahead and just play our script 
our scene and you can see it says the addition results is 67.65 and the multiplication result is 1028.89 so it means our script that we've attached to our main camera within our scene is actually working perfectly fine so thank you very much for guys that's how we can work with arithmetic operators and basically that's how we can change the behavior of game objects by attaching a script which we have uh, functions or instructions in a function calling that instruction and making sure we attach our script to a game object so we can actually see it right now and what we can also do is we could change this values like we did in our example let's go ahead and just change that value and let's save our scene and go ahead and run that and we can actually see our new results right here let me just go ahead and drag this and place the console right close to us so we can see these results right here and they've changed based on the input we've provided in the inspector because we've used the public keywords to expose them like so thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next lesson